It is now well known worldwide that celebrities and sports celebrities are ruling the rich game. It is a known fact that any famous successful sports player must own tons of expensive things. Well, today, we are going to take a look beyond that. I'm talking about this. We are going to look at NBA players and how they are doing. I bet they're doing pretty fine, or even more. Stay tuned where we present to you the top 10 NBA players' houses. Number 10, John Wall. The basketball player purchased a 17,000 square foot, $4.9 million mansion. Some of the essential features are the waterfall swimming pool, outdoor grilling center, a home movie theater, a six car garage, a personal gym, and just like the rest of the properties on this list, a basketball court. The estate also includes eight bedrooms and bathrooms. Number nine, LeBron James. LeBron James was going through a rough time after leaving Miami Heat and returning to the Cleveland Cavaliers. He had to say goodbye to his million dollar home in Miami. The estate is at a modest 12,100 square foot size with a standard eight bedrooms, six bathrooms, a wine cellar, guest house, library, home theater, an infinity pool, and a dock that can host two 60 foot yachts. LeBron was living a luxurious life. LeBron didn't have any issues selling his home. His asking price was $15 million back in 2016, but sold his property for $13.4 million instead to a real estate developer. That's $4.4 million over what he originally paid. Did he need that extra money? Well, you can't say no to more money, right? Number 8. Chris Bosch Chris Bosch also put his mansion up for sale after making the movie. He signed a five-year, $118 million contract with the Miami Heat, forcing him to give his property away. His asking price, you ask? $14.5 million also in 2016. Its location is fantastic. The 10,000 square foot villa sits at the top of California's highlands. It has a beautiful view of the Topanga Canyon and the Pacific Ocean. Outside, there's an infinity pool with a swim-up bar and a full outdoor waterproof kitchen. The mansion itself has six large bedrooms, eight full bathrooms, a full-size professional gym, a home theater, plus a sports bar and a billiard room. He offered a $45,000 rental a month. Number seven, Dwayne Wade. Located just a few blocks away from his close friend and teammate Chris Bosh, Miami Heat's Dwayne Wade finally settled down for a $17.9 million property after looking at over 50 homes. Crazy. The best part about this is that he negotiated the price down to a crazy $7 million less and didn't even see the place before buying it. On the Lagorse Island, the Mediterranean-style house is backed right into the beach, providing the basketball star with a stunning ocean view. The mansion comes with eight large bedrooms, nine full-size baths, a tennis court, a wet bar, an adjacent guest house, an air-conditioned doghouse, and, you guessed it, a basketball court. Number 6. LeBron James we know LeBron James as the king of the court, and with his new home, the king of the castle. The athlete made an insane amount of money off of his endorsements with Gatorade, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's, and he put his earnings towards something worthwhile. James bought a $9.2 million starter home that he built from the ground up. The 30,000 square foot Bath Township property has 19 rooms, including six bedrooms, eight full bathrooms, a recording studio, a two lane bowling alley, an online casino, a home theater, and a sports activity bar, aquarium, barber shop, and the main bedroom suite. However, 13 years later, LeBron was looking for an upgrade, and he's since become a proud owner of a $50 million mansion that's privately in the Coral Gables community. Number 5. Chris Paul After trading into the Clippers, Chris Paul put his well-earned money to fair use. He bought Avril Lavigne's Bel Air mansion off the pop star for $8.5 million in 2016. It was over 12,000 square feet, 8 bedrooms, a pool, a hot tub, a wine cellar, a tennis court, a gym, a spa, a study room, a home theater, 
an outdoor patio with a TV, a fully equipped outdoor kitchen, and outdoor bar. The mansion has everything you would ever ask for, and Paul instantly fell in love with the property. Well, we all fell in love with it. Not just you, Paul. Number four, Dirk Nowitzki. The German basketball player bought an $8 million mansion in Straight Lane, Dallas, Texas, also known as Billionaire's Row. He got a fantastic discount on the estate because of his real estate agent's good connections. The actual amount is unknown, but the owner said they didn't profit off of the sale, which is pretty insane. The property has 9,215 square feet with a colonial revived style. It has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a beautiful tall ceilings. Of course, the mansion came loaded with your typical necessities, such as a three-car garage, a tennis court, a swimming pool, and yes, obviously, a basketball court. Number three, Dwight Howard. The Houston Rockets NBA superstar suffered a tremendous loss on his waterfront mansion estate. Dwight's property in Longwood, Florida was initially bought for $7.78 million, however, after the 2008 housing market crash, Howard's house never ended up fully recovering from the blow. In 2016, he put up the property for $3 million less than what he first paid. The mansion includes five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a massive professional chef's kitchen, a pool room, a screening room, an outdoor kitchen, a swimming pool with an attached lazy river, and a large gym. The estate has a gothic design to it, with the size of 11,000 square feet. With everything included in the beautiful property, it might come to us as a surprise that he's struggling to profit off of the home. According to a few interested buyers though, the problem is within the seller himself, not the estate. You see, Howard is a bit difficult to deal with and can be very obnoxious. He is making the process of house buying even more difficult than it already is. This information is pretty believable since his fellow teammates have said similar things about him on the court. Number two, this is getting even more exciting, Kenyon Martin. The NBA veteran Kenyon listed his Texas mansion at a super low price. The 15,000 square foot estate is pretty extravagant, so the asking price was only $5 million. It has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, life-size dolphin fountains, white marble floors, a bowling alley, an outdoor cabana, a massive pool, an enormous room for playing pool, a nine-car multi-garage, and, you guessed it, a basketball court. What's even more shocking is that no one seems to bite. Well, no comment here. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, the number one on our list. Michael Jordan has been attempting to sell his ridiculously overpriced mansion for the last couple of years to no avail. The 56,000 square foot estate valued at $29 million comes fully loaded with three climate controlled multi-car garages, a complete state of the art gym, an NBA regulation sized basketball court, a tennis court, a putting green, and three bedroom guest houses. If that doesn't sell you, then maybe Michael Jordan himself can. After struggling to get bids on his mansion for the past three years, the NBA legend released a self-produced I Am commercial that he made specifically to promote his mega home. He even has its price to a little under $15 million. LeBron offered to outfit its buyer with every edition of Air Jordans ever made to sweeten the deal which may be one of, if not the most, significant signing bonuses of all time. He ended up taking his listing off the market because he could not find a buyer at the price he wanted. Even at the discount price, it's a bit of a tough sell in Chicago, Illinois, and not somewhere warm and luxurious like Miami or Los Angeles. Hearing those ridiculous stories is one of the fundamental things that let us be excited to take looks at the NBA players' private lives. Which one do you think was the most ridiculous? Let us know in the comments below, along with the best home you loved. Don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing. If you haven't already, stay tuned for another video. See you next time. Bye bye.